Welcome to Houston, the bottom of the south. If you ain't from around here, you might not make it out. I done seen it all. Plenty bowed and foul. One day buying them all, next day lost it all. Don't let the hype fool you. Keep you too close by. Too close These jackets will play cool and hit you with the 4-5. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Look what I'm in. Can y'all guess? Of course, it's the Miracle Whip 2.0. Every time you see this red interior and these stars up top, you know I'm in the Charger. So a lot of, I mean, I get a lot of comments, guys. How is my Charger holding up? So. I'm gonna get a full walk around of the charger and letting y'all see how it looks up to date to all the modifications I've done, all the um, gadgets and stuff I have uh, on here. Um, some, st a lot of stuff is like intact, holding up. Some stuff is like not working no more. Probably have to rewire and all that stuff. But the huge, the the most common I get is about the actual lights are they still holding up and I can say yes they are they're still changing all types of colors and all this other stuff but yeah so this is still holding up still looking good and I always get people are you gonna put this in the f-150 no guys I will not because it's gonna be a big old square and it's just gonna have the lights going around the side i just think that it's pointless um interior is holding up guys no rips or nothing so huge shout out to tatum upholstery on that um and i actually do have the car sitting here because i actually drove the charger today guys i normally don't drive it but i actually drove it um let's see what else what else what else so yeah back to the interior it's just a little dirty i need to clean it but other than that guys i had this interior almost two to three years i think if i'm not mistaken holding up very well the air suspension is holding up very well all of the uh rebash from nate is holding up good even a little blue the red piping around the thing is holding up good one thing i noticed today is my front view camera is not working for some reason maybe it's a ground issue a power issue i have to freaking figure that out but i know it still works because the last time i was in the car it actually worked and i don't know why it's not working out maybe it's a blown fuse or something but it still works and then all these buttons still work as you can see that boosted f-150 in the back um uh, apple car i mean apple tv still work um everything is literally still intact guys on the inside everything is working good uh even the accurate e level still here mounted uh with the glassy house uh mount right here that's still illuminating and stuff uh you still got the lights underneath you can't see but look at my shoes right there you can see them change the colors and i will be adding this in my charger this week um so let's cut off the charger real fast. Let's jump outside and let's see what's going on. On the, let's go look at underneath the hood. Uh, we'll look at the exterior of the car and then also the trunk. And then that would be it. All right, guys. Guys, so we are literally on the outside of the car. So let's do a quick walk around. As you can see, I'm missing the pinstriping on the front, the weird pinstriping right there. The actual uh, dynamic dual in the flash tech lights are actually still working. Uh, the Nate rebadge is still looks good on the front right here. Has it came off? Remember a while back, this actual um, piece came off. Well, not came off. It was getting loose from the pressure washer I was doing. Sorry for the noise on the UPS truck right there. But the wrap in the front, guys, for three years, it held it on. It's time to replace that. And even the Hellcat hood vinyl wrap is getting very dull. Remember, this is supposed to be gloss black. That is getting dull. The actual window, front windshield tip is still looking good. Still intact, as you can see. Um, I think this is the most disappointing thing I have on my car right now. 
but three years guys of the gloss final wrap uh 3m and held on pretty freaking good uh one thing i'm about to do as well i'm about to repowder coat all my wheels um just i just want to freshen up the actual car and then as you can see guys i have little garage marks in the back um i'm not going to paint the car yet because i am getting wrapped so that's one of the things i'm doing in the future but see i just want to get all this fixed so the person who powder coated my undercarriage of my f-150 is going to re-powder coat these wheels i'm going to do white again with gloss black even though the wheels are still going to get wrapped i just want to do that so when i take off the wrap it could be fresh but other than that man the outside of the car it's not bad but you could tell i daily it but it's not bad and huge shout out to axe man axe is a huge sponsor i deal with on this actual car and the actual uh f-150 man so huge shout out to them guys uh they show so much love and sponsor me on these f-150s hopefully they have 26s coming out i really want to upgrade the 26s um and i want to go to the exact same wheel freaking ups and i actually want to go to the exact same wheel so huge, huge shout out to axe uh hopefully we can make a deal on that but i have axe on both of my vehicles um i have all that link in the description below if you ever want to check out their merchandise well not merchandise products i say so let's hop let's hop into the uh the trunk let's see how the trunk is holding up so the only thing i've been having this issue ever since i painted this but it's not breaking the party you gotta put it back I just gotta glue it down um the beats still holding up now i haven't had these beats hooked up in a year uh since we did the air suspension by mod effects as you can see hear me free so all this stuff is still holding up so i've been hitting stuff with my box though so eventually I'm gonna have to get all this repainted, but it's nothing big deal right now. Uh, Cause I could just shoot some spray paint on it, don't even care about it. But everything has been holding up in the trunk. All right, so let's go to underneath the hood. Let's see how this looks. I haven't been under here in a while. It should be still clean from the last time I cleaned it, which was about four or five months ago because I haven't drove this car guys in two months. So everything should be still immaculate, which it kind of is. It's a little dull right here on the plastic pieces, but the V6 is still clean. Even though it's not a V8, you still keep it clean though. Um, oh, hold on, it's not clean no more. I see a little leaf right here. Oh, never mind, it's gone now. So what I've done to underneath the hood, as you can see, the white accent pieces, they got painted. Uh, I uh, plastic dipped the coolant tank uh, added my logo so if you're not subscribed it's your first time here please go subscribe to my channel um, and then I added the rip supercharged catch can and let's see I haven't checked this either in a while it's my first time actually checking it so it's not catching nothing at the moment but guys I haven't drove it so I only drove this vehicle like two times since that's been in the vehicle so probably need an oil change because it's been sitting up for so long but other than that guys that is it for miracle whip so let me tell y'all it's it's hot out here guys i'll tell y'all right now i'm sweating my butt off so let me tell y'all what i got planned so i am going to wrap the, the vehicle right it's going to take four to five days but before i wrap it what i want to do honestly guys i want to get the wheels repowered coated right i want to get the under uh under uh glow lights to work um, before I do all that as well. And then the color that I'm wrapping mine, I'm gonna have to find that color to go around the pinstriping. So I'm really not too worried about replacing that pinstriping now. Um, so he's gonna, I'm gonna order the Hellcat um, black uh, vinyl things too. So I have to reorder this as well. But other than that, that's the main thing I wanna get done before I even attempt to wrap this car but I am going to wrap it. I need a new look. It's not going to be white. It's going to mess up the whole thing and everything. But the wrap is going to go good with the red interior, etc. 
And I'm even going to have to replace these uh, lights as well. Oh, but you know what, though? One thing I didn't think about is the white on the inside of the headlights. Huh. Yeah, I didn't think about that. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that's going to be it of the video, man. Thank y'all for watching, guys. I know y'all been wondering what's going on with the uh, charger. It still runs. Everything's still good. Um, yeah. It's just still a charge. I just don't drive it, man, because I'm so addicted to the freaking F-150. And air, the air ride still works really good. So you start it. Still raises up. It still sounds good for a V6. But other than that, man, that's the end of the video, man. This is Robert YouTube Budget, guys. It's hot as hell out here. Peace. Boy, I'm sweating.